Hemen. guys welcome back to acres of adventure so today what we want to do is get our great Pyrenees and our Wheaton Terrier it is so hard to talk over <laughs> talk over these chickens sometimes what we want to do today is get our Wheaton Terrier Bailey and our great Pyrenees Milo who you guys seem to love so much and we want to get them accustomed with the chickens we're gonna let them off the leash just with the chickens here in our small free-range area which we've been doing lately if you guys have been watching the previous videos and just see how they do with no leashes not stop i think they want us to release them out because we've been letting them out of their coop and run lately so i think that's what they want right now so you hear our rooster really trying to tell us that the rooster um we're trying to see if he's just super aggressive or being kind of more protective so we're hoping to have him out of the coop and run more so that we can get him more friendly with us and accustomed with us as well. So this is more um, with us and with our dogs today, kind of just getting the chickens more used to us. But this, this will be the first time where we put both dogs off the leash with the chickens and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well, but right now the chickens want to come out. All right, time to play. Time to play. Before we let the dogs out and everything like that, it's pretty early, but we'll see if we have a chicken egg yet this morning, so I'll open it. Let's see if we have any stuff. Oh, look what we got here. We got another chicken egg. Another green one. We'll go put this inside here before uh, any of the chickens crack it or before it freezes. All right, so what was supposed to be a controlled environment for the off-leash test just turned into a full-blown, let's go for it. If you guys, Bailey, Bailey, this way. If you guys can't see, our fencing that we had fell down and collapsed because of the wind. So Bailey's loose, we have one chicken over here, and I think the other nine have already escaped to free range the whole backyard. So what we're doing now is it's the free range experiment, I guess. Milo's already accustomed himself this way. Here go, babe. All right, as I said, it was supposed to be, I do not like talking over him, but what was supposed to be a controlled environment back over there where the coop was with our fence, as it fell down and as soon as I came out here, there was only three chickens and by the time I got closer to them, about eight of them were all out, sprinting out of the fence line that we made for them. So this is their first time free, free ranging on the whole backyard and the dogs have been doing good. Bailey is the one kind of patrolling them the whole time, seeing what's going on. And Milo, way back over there, just wants to be next to us. 
could care less about if the chickens are outside or not. It's the reason we got him in the first place was that so when we start having any kind of animals here that he would protect them, which he's still doing, but he's just not doing it in a way that we think so. But Bailey seems to be the one that is at least observant of the chickens. I don't know if she's necessarily protecting them. She is um, patrolling them, making sure that they are not harming us, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. Well, I'd say that our, our free-ranging dreams are getting closer to happening. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Hoping they can help. You see a chicken? For the garden. <laughs> oh, you see the camera? What about the chicken that's in front of your face? Yeah, oh. Chickens are all around here, hanging out with us. We're just hanging out. Some chickens, Bailey, the girls. And then this guy over here does not want to be a part of the chickens. You gonna go see Delilah instead? So it's been going a lot better than expected with both dogs. Um, the only thing disappointing has been Milo has seemed to just want to be away from the chickens. And we've kind of talked about it that when they were in their coop when we first ever moved them out here, Bailey would go at Milo when Milo was near the chickens because Bailey was so obsessed with these chickens being outside. And I think that's kind of feared Milo from the chickens a little bit. The good thing is, is in order to protect the chickens, he doesn't have to be this big friendship between the chickens where he smells the chickens and hangs out with them. The point of having him around the yard is for him to bark at any kind of intruders, give his scent, and pee and poop basically all over this place to try to deter a lot of other uh, predators from the chickens. In that aspect, it's just good. I'd rather him not care about them than to him to be obsessed where he wants to try to attack the chickens. But you can see Bailey here has been going back and forth with the chickens as I've been speaking, and it's been nice to not actually really have to pay attention to her that much. She still gets pecked a lot because she wants to be right in their faces. But if you saw right there, if you didn't, rewind it a little bit, or here, I'll show it one more time. That's what I'm talking about. I think as soon as Bailey showed up, that's when Milo backed up. So I don't think Bailey's actually trying to attack him anymore about it. He has that memory of when we first brought him out here and when Bailey would do that to him. So that's unfortunate, like I said, but he doesn't have to be right next to them, buddy-buddy with them, and he'll still protect them very fine. So the good thing is, the most important thing that we had in this equation was Bailey, our Wheaton Terrier, dealing with these chickens, and she has been doing an amazing job. Come here, babe. Oh, you are muddy. You are muddy. So the good thing is, is you've been a good girl, huh? You've been being a very good girl with them. You good girl. Yeah, thanks. And with her being good, that means we're going to be able to free range them, which is a plus. I don't think it was just one time being lucky and it just working out. We did put some effort into this to make sure that this was going to happen. When they were first just brought home as chicks, we made sure to have them sniff the chicks, make sure that they got accustomed to their scent, make sure that they got accustomed to that, hey, these were animals that are coming into our family and our household. And we wanted to make sure that that was shown to them. And then... While they were big and they were coming out a little bit into our yard before winter actually hit, we had them on leashes and we would kind of walk with them around the chickens, but we had to hold of that leash to make sure that nothing bad was gonna happen and it went well then. We didn't fully know that this was gonna happen, but we did put some effort into this when we first started to get these chickens accustomed to our dogs and it looks like it's all paid off. When there, whenever there's not really snow on the ground, we're gonna be able to release these chickens in our backyard and let them just kind of free range more with our dogs. And that is a win for us, so very good. Um, this is for anyone who thinks that their dog would not be able to do this. Bailey, our Wheaton Terrier, was definitely that dog. Um, we definitely have some videos for you that I'm gonna be playing right now as I talk. 
she would try to bite these chickens, tried to bite the chickens through the fence. She would attack and bark at them as they were inside their coop and run. So you thought for sure if there was a dog that wasn't gonna do well, that would have been her, but she has surprised us. She is a very good girl. She is a good dog. She tries to protect us at all times. Probably getting that first chicken egg was definitely the best day with the chickens, but this is that second best day with the chickens. More kind of best day with the dogs kind of thing, but the fact that the dog and chickens can coexist now is amazing. Here's Sunny. Sunny's the one that I hope's been laying our green eggs, but she's an Americana and she is my favorite chicken. Bay, back up. Bailey. See, I still have to say Bailey's name every once in a while. She still has a little bit of instinct because they like to peck at her a lot. But Sunny is one of my favorite chickens. And here's Rosie. Bailey, no. Here's Rosie. And Rosie might be laying our first brown egg that we just got yesterday, so. Milo, are you taking the kale? Milo. Are you stealing the chicken's kale? I thought for sure that chicken was gonna peck that kale out of his mouth. He's been coming out here and just taking one of the pieces of kale one at a time slowly in here. Milo, are you stealing the... <laughs> chicken, he got it. Come on, Milo, look at the size of you. That time he did let one of the chickens take the kale right from his mouth. <laughs> Poor big loaf. You're okay, good boy. And Melina have just been, we found that we took our bench, brought it in here with the chickens and we're living a life that we did not know was possible probably just one year ago. And let me give you guys our view. Alfredo, did you lay us that pretty egg? Alfredo, did you lay us that egg? Chicken that Chelsea doesn't like that I named, Alfredo. He's maybe been the one that laid the brown egg yesterday, so. Oh shoot, did I say he? Alfredo is a she, obviously, or we wouldn't have this. But, so she is the one that laid this egg. She wants us to switch the name to Alfreda because now that it's officially a hen, but I think Alfredo has to stay because I named that one. And as you can see, we have three of the, these kind of eggs, but we, now we have one, two, three, four. Maybe he's just getting, he's getting used to these chickens now. Now it's time to put the chickens away. Guys, in here. Well, they're all in there eating. Come on. I already dumped them. Look. <laughs> they don't want to go back. In there. In there. In there. In there. The adventure is done. Back up, back up. Ah! Jeez <laughs> always. Today was a hundred percent total success. It makes me and Chelsea more than happy to be out here, sit out here, enjoy the chickens, get bit by the chickens, mostly just our rooster. And it's just a very amazing sight to see them being able to free range, roam around, do what they need to do, 
just be a part of nature how they're supposed to and not just sit inside their coop and run all day. So I think whenever we have nicer weather, not even nicer weather, but as long as there's not snow all over the ground, why not let's try to get them out and try to get some ranging time in for them for the day. When we first brought them home as chicks back in October, this is what we dreamed of when we had them. We wanted them to be able to free range with our dogs in the backyard, do what they need to do, help our garden, help our lawn, give us eggs, and most importantly, have healthy animals the way they're supposed to be. Um, they're not built to just sit inside, uh, run, and coop all day long. They are built to be out and be a part of nature and enjoy the fresh air, enjoy all of our lawn and everything that we have. So the fact that now that we can do that for them, we know that over time, the relationship between these dogs and the chickens are only gonna get better. It's just an amazing feeling to be a part of now. I am super excited. That means our chickens are only gonna get healthier and be stronger. Our eggs are gonna taste better. They are gonna lay more eggs because of that reason. So thank you guys again for watching. We are excited. It was a double egg day. We got a green and a brown egg. So both of our hens both laid on the same day. So that's exciting. Our first day getting two eggs in the same day. Thank you again for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We have had our most subscribers we've ever had in a one month period this past month. So thank you guys for following along with us. And we will be back and we will see you guys in the next video. See you later.